Recording whenever you're ready. I'm Amulya Rao, and I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist, and I primarily treat children with brain tumors, and I also see patients with other uh, tumor cancers as well, and I'm part of the Mayo uh, Clinic Children's Center. Um, so I primarily take care of children with brain tumors. So the most common type of cancer in children is leukemias, and this is followed by brain tumors. Uh, the brain is a very uh, special organ in the body, and so there's a, a protective mechanism within all of us, and that's what's called the blood-brain barrier. Uh, so this pr protects and prevents things from entering the brain. Uh, the challenge we therefore face is that when someone has a brain tumor and we want the chemotherapy to get the tumor, this nice barrier prevents it from getting in there. So therefore, we do have to give more aggressive treatments with children, for children with many kinds of brain tumors. So we follow a very unified approach uh, uh, because most of these tumors need a, a multimodal treatment approach, which includes surgery, uh, radiation and or chemotherapy. Uh, over the past couple of decades or so, there's been a lot of advances that have happened. Uh, this has led to the survival rate of uh, children with brain tumors as well as other cancers uh, significantly improve. The, there are two facets uh, to treatment of cancers. Uh, the one, the main primary focus is to make sure that we are able to cure these children so that they can go on to lead a healthy long life. Uh, the second piece is as we are trying to cure these children, we know that there's going to be a lot of immediate and long-term side effects that stem from the tr these treatments, uh, which can have a lasting impact and which can potentially uh, in, uh, affect the quality of life with these children. Uh, so for me as a pediatric neuro-oncologist, my goal is not only to be able to help cure, but also to do my best to make sure that, the ch that these children have the best quality of life. Given the unique nature of uh, pediatric cancer, and since children are growing and they have various other needs which are very different from adults, uh, care for children with cancer requires uh, not only a team approach, but requires people who are experienced and have expertise with treating children in general. Uh, so the, and I've trained and worked in many uh, places in the country and also outside the country. And the one thing that's very unique about Mayo is the multidisciplinary and team approach that we follow here. Uh, so for instance, if a, a new brain tumor patient comes in, uh, before you know it, uh, we have a huge team that steps in to take care of this child, uh, which includes uh, trained pediatric neurosurgeons, uh, radiation oncologists, uh, pediatric oncologists, and neurologists. And it doesn't stop there. Uh, we do know that cancer treatment causes a lot of side effects, whether it is in the immediate time frame or in a, in a more long-term uh, uh, time frame. So given this, what we do believe in is uh, to anticipate these challenges, and therefore the team approach becomes even more important.